Colton, tell me a little bit about your experience in Miami at the uh, recently completed yeah. uh, Formula One race. You uh, Just a few years ago, I think you were asking Zach Brown whether you could get an admission ticket. Now all of yeah. a sudden, now all of a sudden, McLaren was saying, "Hey, why don't you spend some time with us? Um, he, you know, sit with Lando Norris and Daniel Ricciardo." Right. Now you were behind the velvet ropes. What was that like? It was it was awesome. You know, just to see how they work, which you know isn't different to what we're doing here in IndyCar, but it's just amplified a lot more. They have a lot more data. Um, you know, we probably work with an IndyCar of one, two, four engineers per car. Um, and that's including an engineer that Honda gives us for the engines and they, excuse me. Um, and they probably have 20 per car, maybe wow. 15 per car on the weekend. And that's not counting all the people that are back at the factory. Um, also giving tech support. So it is a massive operation and, and just for that aspect, there's, there's big differences in that, but the way that they work and, um go about the day is very similar to what, what we'll do but just to a way different degree because of all the the input and data and engineers that they have um there's a lot of things that that are a lot more specific and and we don't do an indie car just because we don't have the time and, and people to to be able to do it you described the the circuit and the, and the atmosphere itself as a music festival that happens to have a race going on <laughs> yeah it was very different to like the normal or traditional F1 races that you would get in Europe or, or even at Coda. Um, you know, I think that the design and the goal of the Miami GP was to, you know, be the highest end Formula One race that there is and have all the glitz and glamour. Um, and it definitely checked those boxes. It was a really cool event to be at and a really different field to, to any Formula One race that I've been to. So I enjoyed it. Um, it was really cool to to be there and, and see the track and see Lando again. Cause I hadn't seen him since we were teammates in 2016. So yeah, you um, raced formula four with them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's been a long time since I've, since I've seen him, which was cool to see and, and see how he's doing and, and see how he's progressed as a driver. Um, and yeah, what a cool situation for me to get in and be able to be behind the scenes. So I appreciate everything that they've done on that, on that front to, to, you know, get me out there and then then let me see all their their cool stuff that they do behind the scenes and, and trust that i'm not gonna run away with that information anywhere 